Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this barbecue. Using 8 ply wool, which is this one, the size is 17 and a half centimetres by 11 centimetres, or 7 inches by 4 and a half inches. Using 4 ply crochet cotton, this one, it's 12 centimetres by 8 centimetres, or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 3 inches. Now I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. The red is my main colour and I've got grey, a peach colour, black and two different browns. I've got a 1.25mm crochet hook, scissors, a sewing needle to weave in the ends and to stitch it together and I've got my sewing thread. Now I'll start on the bottom barbecue section, just at the bottom there. So using my main colour, I work 10 chain. For row 1, I work 2 single crochet into the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet, I'll put my hook in through the second chain from the hook and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through both loops. I need one more single crochet in that first stitch. Then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 11 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into your last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. And we'll have 15 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch
for row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch, and we'll have 17 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, and then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and then two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 21 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet we put our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn through all the loops. 
and then we work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet in the next stitch. So hook into the same stitch as the last part of our joined single crochet, bring up a loop, hook into our last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn our work and we work a joined single crochet over both our stitches. And we fasten off. Now we're going to work the other end of the barbecue section. So we join our cotton to the end stitch on the other side. And work one chain. Work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then a joined single crochet into the same part of the last stitch of the joined single crochet in our last stitch. And then we work for row 3 one chain and turn our work and work a joined single crochet over both our stitches. Now that's the bottom barbecue section done. We won't fasten off. We're going to do a neatening row. So I start with one chain and I'm going to slip stitch just down to the corner there. One slip stitch into each stitch just to give it a little bit more of a point. And then I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch along to the next corner, just along to there one single crochet into each stitch. I'm crocheting in, in this tail here so I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it. Now I'll slip stitch into the corner and then I'll work one slip stitch into each stitch up, up to the point. Once I get to the point I'll work one chain and then I'll slip stitch into the next stitch and then I'm going to start working a single crochet into each stitch round to the top. I'll be crocheting in that tail as I go. So one single crochet into each stitch back round to the top. So. I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. When we get to the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So we put our hook in through the stitch and bring through a loop 
and take it straight through the loop on our hook and then fasten off. And that's the bottom of the barbecue section done. We'll start on the lid now. It's worked fairly similar to the bottom. We start with 10 chain. And we work two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. and two single crochet into our last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. And we'll have 13 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into our last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch, and we'll have 15 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the, to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch, and we'll have 17 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 21 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and you'll have 21 stitches. And that's the lid done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row we work one chain and we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So just work right back to the beginning. We're going to work across the top two. So I'll work my neatening row and I'll be back. And when we finish the neatening row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the lid done. 
for the little handle there I'm using black and I'll work a chain I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook three single crochet into the next stitch that will just make it bend there and then I work one single crochet into each of the following three stitches three single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off and there's the little handle now we'll work this top part of the barbecue now we start with 14 chain I'm using my darker brown For row 1 we work 2 single crochet into the second chain from the hook then we'll work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch we'll have 15 stitches so after our 2 single crochet we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch for row two we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches so two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into the first stitch. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops. And we need one more double crochet in the same stitch. Then we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the stitch and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the three loops. And we need one more half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches. So a single crochet into each stitch till we've got three stitches left. Now I've got three stitches left, I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then two double crochet into my last stitch. And that's the top barbecue section finished. We're going to do a neatening row now. So we start with one chain and we work one single crochet into each stitch right around our work. So I'll continue round with my neatening row and I'll meet you when I get back near the end. Now when we get back to the beginning of the row, we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's that top of the barbecue section done. Now we'll start on the stand now. So I've got my bottom barbecue section 
and I find the middle stitch and join back five stitches. So the stitch here and I work 11 chain. I miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then I work one double crochet into each of the following four stitches. Then I work one treble into each of the remaining chain. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put the yarn around our hook twice, hook in to the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the next two loops. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops and then a treble into each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the bottom of our section Just find where it matches up and then slip stitch in there and fasten off. Now to find where the next leg starts, I just bend my work in half. And I'll start it in that stitch there. That just makes it even. And then the next leg is work the same. We start with 11 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then one treble into each remaining chain.
and then slip stitch into the bottom of our barbecue section and fasten off. And that's the first part of the stand. We'll do the support one now. Now we start with about 14 chain And then I'm going to measure just to make sure because each one will be a bit different. It's 14 chains fine for mine so I measured just between the legs to make sure it fit, fit properly. And then I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and fasten off now I'll start on the centre of the tyres now I'll be using grey but use whatever colour you'd like you could use one of these colours rather than buy a whole ball of cotton so I start with a magic loop for a magic loop I either start as I'm doing a chain and pull it loose instead of tight or I put my hook on the yarn and bring the short end over and take the longer end over the short end. Yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through and I've got a circle. Then I work one chain and I work eight single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the tail and just ease it in and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and I'll need to make another inner wheel so I'll just weave in the ends to make it easier for you to see when I'm putting the outer wheel on. Now I've got my two inner wheels. To do the outer wheels I just join my black in any stitch. And work one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain. and then work two single crochet into each stitch around
and then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And the other outer wheel will be worked the same. Now for the grill, I'll be using an apricot colour, but you could use grey if you'd prefer. Now I start with four chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 4, I start with 1 chain and turn, I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 5, I start with 1 chain and turn, I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 7 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 8 I start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row nine, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 11, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. 
of row 12, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 13, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And for row 14, I start with one chain and turn, work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, and then one single crochet in each remaining stitch and fasten off. And that's the grill part done. Now for the hamburger, if you'd like to have a hamburger on your barbecue, you start with five chain You miss the first chain and work two single crochet into the next chain. Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Work three single crochet into the last chain. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch in the back of the chain. So in that loop there, just working a single crochet into the back of each chain. And then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the hamburger. For the sausage, you start with five chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each stitch to the end. It's a bit fiddly. And fasten off. Now I'll probably have two or three sausages on my grill. It depends how many will fit. So I'll weave in my ends and make the other wheel and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all my pieces. I've got the bottom of the barbecue, the top of the barbecue, the lid, the handle for the lid, a hamburger and three sausages, two wheels, the grill and the support for the stand. Now the first things I'll do is in embroider markings, those brown markings, Along the lines for the grill, I'll put them over the top and then I'll stitch them down. I'll attach the support to the bottom of the stand and I'll attach the handle just in there. I'll have a little bit sticking up for the lid. So I'll do those and I'll be back. The next things I do is attach the grill to the top of the barbecue, probably about there, and I attach the wheels to the bottom of the barbecue, just evenly 
on the support there. Next I attach the bottom of the barbecue to the top of the barbecue just around like that. I stitch just along the back. I leave it open at the front like that one. So I'll do that and I'll be back. The last things we do is attach the sausages and hamburger on the grill and then attach the lid. The lid goes about there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished barbecue. And here's the finished barbecue. You could put the lid on the other side if you'd prefer. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. I've also set up a Patreon account so that I can keep my website and YouTube channel going. The details are in the description below with the options available. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.